But what's up everyone and welcome back more dragon ball z abridged episode 16. it's been getting better and better and better per the episode action wise plot concept wise it's just all getting better so we're just going to continue watching not really much talking just going to you know continue into the the action and series especially since they're short videos i don't want to like waste a lot of time theorizing everything just yet um, unless there's like serious shit I can think about to like expand on but right now it's just a lot of cat mouse chase between everyone and action fights going on so it's really cool really fun uh, funny and just entertaining in general so we're going to continue the pace and continue watching so again appreciate you guys tagging along watching all this with me educating me on all the Dragon Ball characters the lore and anything I'm just confused or questioning but yeah, hope you guys are doing well, having a great day. And again, thanks for watching with me. So let's get started. Happy village music, not for long. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. All of these people are about to be wiped clean, like dead. Hey look, a visitor. Oh boy, we love visitors. Not this one. No, no, don't crowd the young man. Why, hello, good fellow. Welcome to our fine village. You look like you're not from around here. <laughs> you have to be careful. Word through the grapevine has it that some unruly Captain characters Obvious. have been going around and attacking our villages. By the way, would you like to see our Dragon Ball? What's our prize Hi. possession? Sacred on this planet. So, what brings you to our village? The Dragon Ball. Come on, guys. You know better than that. Don't show them your balls so easily. Holy shit! I mean, they kind of asked for it. They're like, hey, there's people going around killing people. And you look new in town. We're going to be very friendly with you and not on guard at all. But this is the parody version, of course. It's probably not like that in the, the original series. They're probably like, hey, get the fuck out of our village. We know what you're here for. But... Good on him, man. I don't know if he killed anyone. He probably just beat him up pretty good. We'll see. Life sure has a way of working itself out. <laughs> if I find Kui, I kill Kui. If I find Dodoria, I kill Dodoria. I find this Dragon Ball. He's a simple man. I take this Dragon Ball. Let's what? see what else I can find. Why did he throw it in the water? Sweet crap! Did you feel that, Gohan? Uh, yeah, but maybe we shouldn't. Man, Vegeta just. Ended that village. <laughs> Krillin, seriously, you... I don't even think he needed to kill him either. They didn't even put up a fight. Krillin! What? So I... he did kill them. Oh, cripes, um... <laughs> hey, listen. Oh, Krillin. They may be dead now, but they've all gone to a better place. Heaven. Where everyone has their own little house, and everything is wonderful, and we all get along, and there's puppies and kitties, and... This sounds totally asinine. It totally <laughs> is. Hey, guys. Totally I think is. I might have an idea. Frieza and Vegeta need all seven Dragon Balls, right? So, what if we just found one and hid it away? Then neither of them could make their wish. Hey, good idea. But we also need someone who can help us out. But the logic is, they're already hidden away, right? Like, all the Dragon Balls are already hidden away, and they're using, like, the navigational calculator maps to find them. So if you just hide them, they're going to have to do that again to find them anyways. Little Green! Dende. Do you know anyone on this <laughs> Dende, planet bitch. might be able to do that? I know of one person. He is called the leader of our people, the Eldest Namek. It is said long ago, when our planet faced a great drought, he led our people through the peril. Through the it peril. He said that it was terrifying. The drought? No. Well, Gohan, looks <laughs> like this is our only choice. No. Stay here and protect Bulma. Oh, now you care. I'm gonna follow Little Green to meet this eldest Namek guy. He sounds like he's our last hope. Please do not make jokes. <laughs> Krillin does like to make Freeza a lot of jokes. Increasingly frustrated. I best find Vegeta quickly. You know, Zarbon, I'm starting to think my people don't understand what I pay them for. You You're don't paying us? <laughs> Allow them to live for. I mean, first we lose... What was his name? Kiwi? Uh, Kiwi. Then we lose all of our scouters, and now Dodoria's dead. I'm sorry, but if this shit goes any further south, we're going to hit Space Mexico. Space what Mexico. What do you want me to do, Lord Fraser? Well, what I want you to do is pull up your frilly stockings, tighten your thong, and stop being such a pansy! Damn, bro. 
Vegeta's Vegeta, wiping everyone how out. How dare you ram into me while I'm thinking about Lord Frieza in my thong? <laughs> oh my god, my thong. So, going back to my OG theory, I was actually right still. Because I said Vegeta was going to be fighting them all. Uh, and it looks like he is. He took out Kui, and then Dodoria, and then now Zarbon. Which, previous episode, I think I speculated that Gohan and Krillin were going to fight them. But they didn't. Vegeta just showed up, took him out, and now he's going to take out Zarbon. And then it's just going to be Frieza. Yeah, just going to ignore that one entirely. But it is a good thing I found you, Vegeta. Vegeta. Now are you going to come quietly? Gross. Or do I have to make you scream? Gross. Oh, you mean like Dodoria? Oh, please. <laughs> Never send a woman to do a man's <laughs> job. <laughs> oh, man. Kick his ass. Where is he? Face down with another man beating your ass. Yeah. Is it Wednesday already, Zarbon? <laughs> Hump day. Vegeta, but you have no idea what you're getting into. Ha! You have got to be kidding me. I may have lost to those fools on Earth, but since I got here, I've done nothing but slaughter you Cretans. First Kui, then Dodoria. I'm two for three. And I'm back, back on, on top. top. Well, Vegeta, I hope you've enjoyed being on top. <laughs> because I'm about to put you back on the bottom, where you belong. Oh, man. You see, I've been hiding another side of myself. Where in the closet? <laughs> now prepare. <laughs> uh, Vegeta's like the perfect combo, dude. Because he's like super badass and strong. But then he has such great wit and comedic timing as well. Like, he is just... The perfect balance of a character, and I'm loving it. Angle so for the beast within. I should warn you though, this form is entirely different from me in every way. Oh shit. What? I'm a rape, you bitch! What? To be honest, you're not that different. You're just a lot less subtle about it. Oh my god. Oh wait, you're a lot less subtle about it. Oh my god. Damn. Hey, little green, do you believe in karma? What is that? Well, you see, karma is where if you do something good, <laughs> something good happens to you. <laughs> if you do something bad, <laughs> something bad happens to you. So, if I am good enough, then I can have my family back. <laughs> Holy shit, no. Are you still on about that? Are you still on about that? No, 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 no! Dang, man. Holy shit! That framework was good. It was good. I don't know, man. Just, yeah, like, just watching all that explode. I don't know. It does something to a man. It's the simple things in life. And that's the end of that. I'd best hurry back to Lord Frieza. If I take too long, he'll really lay into me. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that, though? <laughs> Why did I explode? <laughs> I that never explode. So that's where yours lives, huh? On Earth, our old Namek lives in a floating castle. You have one as well? Well, he died, but yeah. This does not bode well. Dende. I think we're boned. Beautiful language. Oh, te bitmal ho. English. Oh, so you made a friend of green? Oh, I know. I'm gonna call you Big Green. Oh, call me that man. again, and I'll snap your neck. With that attitude, I don't think you should be friends with him, little green. <laughs> Listen, I don't care where you come from or who this you guy's are. An ass. I will not put up with such disrespect. Big green, get in here! <laughs> yeah. Oh, good God! He calls Damn him it. Big Green now too. What is it, Lord Guru? I have a bitch of an itch on my left ass cheek. Now, there is an albino Namekian standing behind you. <laughs> Kill it, like albino. The rest. Actually, sir, I'm like from the Earth. rest. Damn, kill it like the rest. Uh, damn. Uh, actually, sir, I think he has business here about those people attacking our planet. Yeah, we came here looking for help. 
And I see you have a Dragon Ball up there. Oh, wow. It's well, right we're going to make sure that they don't steal it. And how is that? I'm going to take it. Learn your place, Earthling. You have some nerve demanding the Dragon Ball from- Here, take it. I... Oh, my God. What? That Just easily. don't steal the TV. <laughs> Sir, we... <sighs> we don't have a television. Nail, gather the rest of the Dragon Balls and wish for a plasma TV. Lord Guru, that would be a grievous misuse of their powers. I'm about to misuse my hand upside your head. <laughs> so I can just take this and go? Wait, there is something I must first do. You don't mean... Yes, I see something within this young man. Oh man. Strength yet untapped, power yet unleashed. Now hold still, as I unleash the Valley of Strength hidden deep within! There, I have unlocked your potential. I don't feel that different. It wasn't that much. <laughs> it wasn't that much. So this is my full potential? <laughs> Nothing. Yes. So, then it's... All downhill from here. Oh my like god. Yamcha. Like Yamcha. I do Yamcha. not know what this Yamcha is. But it sounds disappointing. <laughs> it sounds well, disappointing. Well, I'd better get this Dragon Ball back <laughs> oh, to Gohan. Shit. Once we find them all, we can wish back our old Namekian. Wait, you said that you were from Earth, correct? Yeah? So, the son of Katat has passed. Unfortunate. We just called him Kami. Oh, so he calls himself God. Pretentious prick. <laughs> now, what? I shall henceforth be known as Super Kami. Super Kami. Yes, Super Kami. No, wait. Super Kami Guru. Can I just call you Guru for short? Super Kami Guru allows this. Well, I'd better hurry up. See you later, little green. Dude, and poor Nail. Dragon Ball. Has to deal with that shit all day. Damn, he's fucking flying. Nail, prepare to retrieve the Dragon Ball. What? And the body. He's gonna die. Lord Frieza, the happening. dirty deed has been done. All, all in all, though, like, I always felt, because, like, obviously, I've never been that into, like, consumed into the Dragon Ball universe or series. But watching this, which I don't know if this is similar to the original, like, concept, but I feel Krillin is a pretty big part of within the story so far like he he he's serving like a main character aspect which i always perceived him to be like a background side character type of person but like he he seems pretty like involved with a lot of important shit going on so far in these these series so i don't know if that's the same for the og versions i would assume so since like the visuals are the same it's just the dubbed and reuse of frames that's the parody aspect but yeah, I I just always assumed him to have like a a much more like minor role to play in most of the story and everything. But so far, like it's more so major roles and everything, which it, it's good. Uh, I was just thrown off by it. Ah, very good. It's nice to see there's still somebody I can rely on. Oh, he barely put up a fight after I transformed. Now that he's dead, we have very little left to worry about. Shows up. Zabon. About an hour ago, a scout informed me that an entire village was completely destroyed. Do you possibly know who could have done that? V Vegeta. And, unlike all the villages we've visited so far, there was no Dragon Ball there. Yep. Do you know who could have possibly taken it? V Vegeta. Vegeta. Very good. <laughs> now, use your brain for this one, Zarbon. If somebody were to know where that Dragon Ball was, who would it be? Oh, man. Vegeta. Vegeta, yes. <laughs> and you said you killed him. Wait, yes. sir. It is possible I just left him unconscious. Oh, oh man. good. And where did you leave him? At the bottom of a lake. Minion 43, would you come in here for a second? 43? I need an example. Private He's gonna kill the minion. An example of what, Lord Freeze? <laughs> Next is you 44. See that, Zarbon? That's Damn. you if Vegeta is not in front of me in the next 10 minutes. Damn. Oh. 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 Bye. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. Dude. <sighs> so there's no after credits for this one. Uh, 
it's good, man. It just gets better and better per the episodes. It might be a while till Goku shows up. I don't know. I think I think Vegeta's gonna do like a lot of like he's gonna have a lot of on screen moments and everything fighting the bad guys for the most part, but some moments of Gohan and Krillin, of course. Um and then cause Vegeta hit a yeah, it looked like okay. So Vegeta hit a Dragon Ball, Gohan and Krillin have the other Dragon Ball, and it looks like Frieza and Zarbon have the other five. So they just, this is where the conflict and everything's gonna start happening um, to try and find the remaining two Dragon Balls. It's, yeah, this this season's been good. I mean, I, I enjoyed season one, but like season two's been really good so far. Like all in all, like even though it's a parody concept, like if you guys told me, like the actual, how am I gonna say it? Like the, the plot and concept is just really good too. Like, like there's actual like meat and bones to it. It's not just like, let's make this wacky, chaotic and silly. Like, let's just really make it a parody dubbed silly version. It's still, you know, holding story to it and just, it's doing really well holding up to be its like own type of, even though serious type story while also, you know, having the comedy dubbed aspect to it too but i'm really enjoying it like this is like perfect because i love stuff that's like action-packed cool fights cool visuals and all that but also the beautiful mix of like the comedy elements with like the wittiness and the perfect comebacks and everything so it's it's been like perfect so far i so i do like that i'm starting on this before diving into like all of the ogs uh because it's still freshly new in every concept while adding that very funny comedy aspect to it and most likely being a different plot concept maybe or storytelling concept compared to the the original series so i'm really enjoying it but yeah i appreciate you guys watching hope you guys are having a good day doing well on your end and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye